Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plug and throw. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below and I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is Crates Plus and is brought to you by Ice Lord, Cortex Gaming, D Field Jr., Big E Football, AJ, DJ1, Kerr Globe, the N. MC and is made by Connor Linfoot. Now this is fantastic. It has a sweet little GUI uh, interface set up for it. It's really simple. One of the drawbacks that I see is you can't really set like a uh, uh, percentage. It's an equal percentage for everything in the crate, but you can set up multiple crates so you can give out different keys uh, and all that. So let's go over that it does not have any requirements except 1.8 which is kind of cool if you are running 1.7 which i don't know why you would because it's over 10 months old you can go ahead and get an older version of this so in order to interact with the crate you'll see these out here you're going to do crate uh we'll just do crate and then you get all the list of commands there you're going to do crate key and then username and then the name of the crate which it is case sensitive so side note when you're setting up your crates and then when you right click you can left click on it and we're going to go into uh, create them or uh, you can see a preview of all the stuff that you could win and then if you right click on it you'll get that stuff so i get super beef which has a sharpness of 100 which is crazy now if you want to get rid of a crate you can go ahead and shift and left click to delete it and then we're going to go ahead and create a new one and then we'll set it down so we're going to do create you know create and then uh create tutorial and that will create the new crate and then all we do in there is we do create settings now that is going to get us into editing all of the crates that are out there so we're going to edit the crates and then we can open up tutorial and then we can edit the create winnings now by default they get this sword we're going to put this sword in here we're going to put this in here and then why not let's put this let's put half the super beef in there and there we go and then that's it you just exit out of it and there's the crates so now if you want to set that one down it's going to be crate crate and then tutorial and then give it to me and once that's set down we can go ahead and left click on it now you might notice that the uh, extended information is not there it's because I turned that off in the config file in order to turn that back on you need to reset the crate and restart the server after you turn that back on we'll go over that in a moment so then we get all the items in here and then we can go ahead and do crate key username and then tutorial and open it up there we go and we got the diamond sword so we can do that again oops and open it up and now we got the super beef and that is it so you could set up a lot of other things for the crates and that's all in the config file really quick i don't talk about the permissions that's going to be crate plus dot admin by default all ops have that but if you want to give that to your moderators or something like that and then crate plus dot updates anybody with that will get notification if there's a newer version out and that's all there is let's jump over to the config file and so here we are in our config config file and there's some place hey, placeholders here that you can put in that are all up in the example you'll see them in use down here and then here's your crates now that'll expand as you create new crates and then uh, you pretty much don't want to change anything up here and this is where you can change the knockback down here you can change that by default it's zero you can up that one two if you want to send them like flying crazy across the map you could set that in there you could enable broadcasting you can also enable a firework to go off once they open the crate which is pretty cool and then this is where you can change the color now it's a default color scheme i'll put a link in the jibbles to that as well um and then you could change the crate key the type in here now the name of it is going to be the type whichever the name of the the key the crate is and all that and then this is where you can actually change if maybe you don't like all that information above your crate you can set this to false and the only thing that will be there is the name which is pretty nice and then this is where you can enable it crate protection and I always like it when authors do this is it allows you to change all of the messages that the plugin does 
And that's it for the config file. That is the only config file. So hopefully you found that helpful. Any changes you make in the config file, you do have to restart your server and then replace any crates, especially if you change any of the colors or the display of it, like that extended information. But that's about it. It's a really quick and easy plugin, and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Kaz from McFriend, reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.